All right, guys, let's get at it. We've got solds. We got two Mercari sales, both t-shirts. I only sell, like, clothing and accessories on Mercari. This bleachers t-shirt we picked up at Salvation Army. It was definitely a rich find. I think we paid $2 for it. I ended up taking a $20 offer on Mercari. I had it listed for $25. I had a really hard time finding this graphic. Um, it apparently doesn't exist other than the one we have. Uh, I had it listed for $25. Took a $20 offer on Mercari. So this is sold. I absolutely freaking love this shirt. It is the mountain. It is a wolf. And it is B.A. Bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I picked this up at a garage sale. I think I paid somewhere between a dollar and three dollars for it. I'm hoping it was more like a dollar because I ended up taking a twelve dollar offer on it. Although it hasn't been listed for that long because even though I bought it at a garage sale, it's just been sitting in a death pile for months. So I had it listed for maybe a month, took a $12 offer on it. So this is the next thing we are getting ready to go out. Next is our lone Etsy sale. It is a vintage Pyrex 7759-B 9 cup glass coffee percolator. Now we bought this at an estate sale on half off day for $5 and sold it on Etsy for $85 plus the cost of shipping. These things are worth... A decent amount of money if you can get them in good shape with all the pieces. Um, we are now currently out. I sold the other one not too long ago and then we just sold this one. So yeah, 85 plus cost of shipping. Definitely a good sale. All right, I'm gonna do an easy one real quick. Hoppy Easter. Got this from the bins and it weighs practically nothing so I don't think I have very much into it. Sold it on eBay. Sold it for 12. 12 plus shipping. So at least this one's going to be an easy one to box up. Another really fun one to box up. Isn't this thing cool though? I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid 20 or 25 bucks for it. I just thought it was neat. It was very unique. Jacobson Home Light. It's definitely vintage. It lights up. And we took a $100 offer on eBay plus the cost of shipping. So we're going to get this ready to go out. And while all this is going on, we are also waiting for somebody to come purchase these uh, Panasonic speakers that we bought at Salvation Army for five bucks. And uh, Rich is pending a $90 offer. Guys should be here pretty soon. Next is another really good sale. We picked this up at Salvation Army for $12.99. It is a Murano Vintage Tortoise Shell Bust Vase. And we took a $100 offer on it. It does have... Like a ding here and a couple little scratches, which uh, if those weren't there, this thing would be worth a little bit more money. But still, $100, I am completely okay with that. I think we did pretty swell on this piece. And just like that, the Panasonic speakers are sold. And our last eBay sale is the Seoul Korea 1988 Tiger from the U.S. Olympics. I uh, got this at a super overpriced estate sale, but I dug this out of a box out in the shed. Paid $3 for it, ended up taking a $60 offer, and it is actually going back to Korea. So I thought that was kind of neat. Yeah, definitely look through stuffed animals. Sometimes you can get really lucky. 60 bucks off of a $3 purchase. As you can tell, we're at the antique mall, but this is too funny. I wonder if those are the actual ones that we passed on on Facebook Marketplace. I can't tell. I don't think so. Ours, the ones that we were looking at, were missing like armbands. But that is too freaking funny. Huh. What are the odds? Now to figure out where to put all of this stuff. But we're already still kind of cram packed in here. But we have sold a couple of the weed whimsies that I tagged up from last time. I think we have made our money back from the $5 we spent on them. Okay, I think we've got everything crammed in here. We added the quilt. We got that out of the free quilt thing that we got off Facebook Marketplace. Um, we added the beer mirror. A bunch of books. A bunch of these books. A bunch of those books. A bunch of books. A 
this little wicker basket. Oh, something just came out of the farmhouse. Typewriter. That one's new. Little chicken's new. I didn't bring a ton of stuff today. This piece is new. It works, it just needs a little bit of restoration. Um, is that really it? We, like I said, we didn't really bring a ton of stuff. These like felt bag things. I don't even know what these are from. <laughs> I don't know, they're cool though. I don't know where they came from. Nothing that uh, I purchased. That is new. Oh, we have another bill to pay, so we gotta go pay that. No, that was definitely ours. They marked it up to $85. <laughs> they have it marked a Barbie's camping tent. I think I sold it for $25 and we got respect it. So there's that. Our bill this month, $44.10. We need to do better. All right, let's go on a little treasure hunt. Those are neat. Prices seem to be high today, though. $12.99 a piece, Atlantic mold. Yeah, not about it for that kind of money. Oh, I'm a sucker for these things. But they're not really worth all that much. I only want eight bucks. Nope. So I had a dream last night that I was picking vintage Tupperware from the grocery store. That's a... Uh, that was my dream last night. I don't know, I was like fighting, I almost like karate kicked with some guy who tried to take it out of my hand. It was like a whole thing. Those are cute. They're plastic and there's only three of them though. East Hampton. Oh, these prices are just annoying me right now. Oh my gosh. $12.99, are they serious? Oh, I love it. It would be a pain in the butt to ship though. Wish there was more of those. Those are adorable. He finds it, it plays music, and I'm all excited. And then he tells me, oh, it's broke. I just, like, my heart is broke. Oh my god, it's so cute. I still want $7 for it, even broken. These freaking prices today are just killing me. Motion out of Christmas for twenty dollars a piece. No, thank you. Ooh, that is an awesome lamp. They probably want one hundred and fifty for it, though. Yeah, Doesn't it's really broken. matter. It's, it's busted. Broken there. Broken there. Broken there. Broken there. And it's ten bucks. I would have paid ten for it if it wasn't busted, like in multiple places. And we're looking at a bust. Happens every once in a while. Today is the day. And somehow I have managed to pull off a minor $10 sale. Snow pants. It's a good time for snow pants. As you can see here in Michigan, it's snowing again. And we've already gotten quite a bit. I mean, quite a bit. So these, I'm pretty sure were Keegan's. And he just outgrew them. So they're a men's size medium pulse. And I just threw them up on Facebook Marketplace for 10 bucks. And uh, she already paid for them via PayPal. Uh, so I'm just gonna stick them on the door and she's gonna send her husband over to grab them at some point. What I really should do is get these sleds listed. I grabbed them from the farmhouse with every intention of taking pictures and getting them listed. And then they just ended up in a pile, death pile of all their own sled stuff and you know, Right now is the time I need to sell this crap when there's snow on the ground. It'll come to like April or May when all the snow is gone and be like, hey, you should probably take pictures of those because that's just who I am as a person. But on that note, I'm going to sign off for the day and I will see you guys on the next. See ya.